Hello and what's up guys, this is Rohit from Alroy Developers and today I am going to share some pain with freeze paints. So I was working on something and I had to create a balance sheet for it, obviously in Excel. I went ahead and made it and then the rows with data increased and when it came to scrolling I had to choose the option to freeze the paints. I'm assuming everyone knows what freeze paint in Excel is, if you do not happen to know it yet, you will by the end of this small session. So here is a dummy Excel sheet which I will be using for this demo and we will be freezing the top three rows as you can see those are the rows we have to freeze I'll first tell you what you should not be doing because it will freeze half of your Excel sheet and then we will see how to do it correctly so what you should not be doing is that you should not select the rows you want to freeze for example I select this let's say row one and then I press shift and I select these three rows so we should not be selecting these three rows to freeze them because when I freeze them as you can see when I click freeze paints it has freezed half of my excel sheet and let me scroll and show you so it is it has freezed half of my excel sheet and that's not how we want it it has freezed half of the excel sheet in horizontal and vertical direction so let's go and unfreeze the pane and now let's see how to do it so instead of doing that you should select a single row below the number of rows you want to freeze in this example I will have to select the row number four as I want to freeze the three rows above it so to freeze the three rows above it I'll select the row number four and I'll go ahead and freeze the paint now when I scroll down see it has freezed the number of rows above the selected row um, that's it that's how easy it is and a simple mistake can you know make you go mad for over a day or something so let's go and freeze it uh, one more thing I wanted to share is uh, let's say I have scrolled it to a point where only row 2 and 3 is visible and I'm, I have row 4 selected and now I'm freezing the pane so what will happen is you will not be able to see row number 1 no matter what so row number 1 is now invisible and you will not be able to see it until you go back and unfreeze the pane and now it's visible again thank you for your time and i hope this helps you save your time um, thank you so much please like comment and subscribe